Hey guys, it's LeppiesDry551 here. Welcome back to my Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In all honesty to say, we defeated Phantom Zant, and we moved on to find this thing, and it's called a soul. Well, let's grab it, shall we? Now, this part, um, this part, it's, it scarred a lot of you all, because they didn't expect this the first time. Yes, this is pretty much like a wall master, if you will. Those things guard the soul, and they want it back. Um, so yeah, they are kind of creepy in that way, but what you need to do is you need to grab it with your double claw shot. I'm too far away, because I'm a new rod. There we go. And yes, they will stop at nothing to get it back. So yes, this part is kind of infamous for being a little creepy for Zelda fans, but... It's not that bad, it's just really, really tense on some occasions. So yes, as I mentioned in the last episode, if you didn't see it, I believe that soul is the German word for sun. I'm not too certain about that, but I don't know. So yes, as you'll notice, the soul can remove the twilight fog, which is fantastic. So we're not going to deal with these guys. And we're going to race up the hill because we're Speedy Gonzalez, and you'll notice him climbing up at the top to try and grab it. But since we have our double claw shots, we'll be A-OK. -okay. Oh no! So yeah, sometimes the soul will be a little ignorant, and it will fly away. Because you're shaking your hips like, yeah, and the butterflies fly away. Okay, but still... We need to carry it back to this door. Fantastic! I think we're almost done with the first soul mission. See, yes, there really isn't much to this. It's just really, really tense on some occasions. And I think that thing is a wall master. I'm not too certain about that, but still. We're gonna wanna avoid these enemies and carry it to the door. I said we're gonna wanna avoid these enemies. Get away from me, you cretins! No! Ah. Oh! Yeah. Get away! Hi. Okay, what you need to do for this guy is when he carries it back. You need to snatch it from him with your double claw shot. And then you'll be in the clear. And I'm almost out of HP. I am one, one quarter of away from dying. I'm serious. But we're done with the first soul mission, which is fantastic. And you'll notice what the soul does is it... Well, it uh, does that, um, and it cures midness people, so that's fantastic, and one second, there we go, just had to clear something up, okay, and so now that we have the first soul, we're gonna cure as many people as we can, And we're going to place this in the first place. I'm sorry, Link. Okay. There we go. And with that... Link, there should be one more soul. If we can find that, it should lead us to Zant. Yes, that is the entire premise of this dungeon. We need to find two souls. And I need some help. Oh, do I really have to use it now? Do I really want to use it now? Oh, I have four of them. What's the what's the harm? Honestly. That's what I've been saying before, situations like this. Okay. Let's get on this platform and let's ride over to the next section. 
So yes, I really, really like this place. It's really atmospheric, and for some reason, I really like the music. It's kind of creepy, but still, it's creepy in a good way. Alright, welcome to the next section of the Palace of Twilight. Okay, this part, it requires your double claw shots, so as you might have guessed. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to aim for this one up at the top. And we're going to want to lower ourselves down until we can come across this platform. There we go. Now that we're on it, we are safe. And you'll notice there's another Zant head coming for us, if you can see it on the camera. What you need to do for this is you need to shield bash it. But I wasn't able to do that successfully. So yes, this really is a really slow and steady process. Um, and you'll notice that it stuns them for a bit. As I said, about nine hits with a sword, maybe six. It doesn't, I don't really know. I think it's not nine hits. Okay, six, forgive me. It is six. As soon as we kill the Zant head, we get a treasure chest. And I think it contains a key. Let's find out, shall we? Yes, it does. Okay, guys. I know it's only at seven minutes, but I think I'm going to catch y'all later, okay? Bye.